Welcome back to another episode of Our City News Show. I'm your host, John Scanlon. And I'm Tanya Vaden, and we're back at the Pensacola Ferry Landing for today's show to tell you about its grand opening. We had a great turnout for the event on Saturday, April the 13th. Port Director Amy Miller served as the day's master of ceremonies. We also had members from Council and the Escambia County Commission. National Park Service Superintendent Dan Brown and the General Manager of Pensacola Bay Cruises spoke about their excitement to the starts of service. Of course, Mayor Grover Robinson was also there to talk about the great partnership between several organizations. I remember uh, sitting with Thaddeus Cohen and Buckley in the Scenic 90 Cafe and discussing what was the opportunity for us to maybe look at a ferry system that would connect the beach and to, uh, into downtown. I think this is exciting in what is happening and what we're doing. I think we're looking at different ways of, of, of making transportation work. And again, as we look to the future and what we're going to do, we can only put so many cars on the island. And again, any way that we can find a way, as, as, uh, as Councilwoman Hill said, uh, to make downtown more easily accessible for walking and, and, and having those opportunities, we would love uh, the people from Pensacola Beach to come over here. You can catch a ride on one of the two catamaran-style tour boats beginning April the 19th. Come buy your ticket here at 750 Commandencia Street. Silver Airways is going wahoo for the Pensacola Wahoos. The airline announced at the baseball home opener that it is now the official airline of the team. So what does that mean for fans? A chance at free airline tickets. Silver Airways will be giving away two round trip tickets at select Blue Wahoo home games. Silver Airlines just began nonstop service to Fort Lauderdale. You can learn more about flight information at silverairways.com and we'll see you at the ballpark. Well, the city of Pensacola just received a generous donation from RBI Pensacola for their t-ball program held at Fricker, Cobb, and Woodland Heights Resource Centers. RBI gave the city a monetary donation of $750 towards the purchase of uniforms and donated and loaned equipment for each of the teams. RBI stands for Reviving Baseball in Inner Cities, and the organization is a youth outreach program designed to increase participation in baseball and softball among underserved youth. The equipment we received were team bags, bats, gloves, batting tees, just to name a few. Thank you so much, RBI Pensacola, for this donation. Congratulations are in order to Captain Rick Simmons. On April 10th, Captain Simmons worked on Ladder Company 16 for the last time. The picture you're looking at is a collage his crew made him to commemorate his many years of dedicated service to the City of Pensacola and Pensacola Fire Department. Captain Simmons, we thank you for your many years of leadership and wish you well in retirement. We have a couple of upcoming events to tell you about. First, for our people ages 50 and up, you can catch a lift to Biloxi. On April 24th, we'll be loading up at the Brownsville Community Center and heading out for a day of fun at the Hard Rock Casino. The bus leaves at 8.30 in the morning and the cost is $10 per person. Participants will receive $20 in free play and half off at the buffet. If you are interested, sign up at the Brownsville Community Center. What happens in Biloxi stays in Biloxi. We also have our Easter egg hunt at the Fricker Resource Center on April the 20th. This event goes from 10 a.m. until 1 p.m. Egg hunt times vary by age group and admission is free. We'll also have Sunshine with Magic 106.1 hosting the event. We hope to see you there. That's all we have for you on this episode. We thank you for watching and we will see you next, next week. week.